Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review So Cold the River. And this is a new horror thriller from director Paul Scholberg and focuses on a documentarian filmmaker who winds up taking up this job researching a town's mysterious benefactor as it unearths an unpleasant evil while staying at the local resort. Very Shining-esque. <laughs> Welcome to The Overlook! And that's basically, like, this film has that kind of feel to it. The actual hotel, this resort, is its own character. And, you know, there's also points in the film where they write it into the story to, like, marvel at it. And it's just like, we see it. Um, but, in general, I think this film is a pretty interesting and pretty engaging horror thriller. It's very different from the rest of the movies that I watched the same day, because I wound up watching four movies on my day off, and uh, the rest of them were all these foreign language, like, deep dramas and, like, romances or different kinds of things, and then you got this. And this is something that really leans heavily into its horror thriller elements, but it does have that drama. There's inspired filmmaking here. There's really great use of camera work, um, even from the opening shot to set up inside this car, what is most important moving forward in the film and where that camera ends up and where it fixates on really captures like hey this is important and we understand that and the camera work is used to great effect to build tension and suspense through the film and there's also some really impressive well-staged elements of the film you have this documentarian erica shaw and she's interviewing this man who seems kind of can canatonic in his hospital bed but when you look in her camera he's smiling he's talking and then the our camera slowly tilts up and nothing's happening and those kinds of things those little things her interacting and there's mirrors in the background that are showing things that may or may not be there in that room with her those are the elements that are really capturing and building up some tension, using the deep focus, using those different kinds of things to shake up the scares and the suspense. And this film goes into very unexpected ways, but unfortunately it does feel a bit clunky, muddled, and uneven because you're trying to find your footing and I feel like the writing in this film has more good ideas than quality structure that helps build them up. There's certain revelations, especially, that happen in the third act of the film that can kind of feel out of nowhere, but are all the shocking nonetheless. And just the way that it's shot and presented makes it feel even more impactful, even if maybe narratively it wasn't very earned. But there's a lot of elements going on in this, very parallel elements, throughout the film that build up what's going on in the present time with this filmmaker, her intern, the uh, the descendant of this person she's investigating versus what was going on in that time with this kidnapping, these murders, stuff like that. There's a lot of like slashery elements. There is a mystery and detective type element to this story. And all of those things work well coming together. And in the end, this film is engaging throughout. There's always interesting things from filmmaking or performances that are always grabbing your attention because that's a very important point too. This has a strong cast. Um, Bethany Joy Lenz, who plays Shaw, is a very strong lead. You could feel her switching on a dime from being, you know, a pretty like neutral kind of person with others to somebody who's manipulating and pulling the strings and really trying to get the most out of those interactions she's having. And you have uh, Katie Sarifi who plays her intern and you feel her internal struggle with like, oh my God, I'm meeting my, like, and she's a super fan of this documentarian, Shaw, and she's just this big fan and she's struggling to balance her feelings towards her as a filmmaker and what she starts to realize about her in terms of her her methods. And there's one particular scene where Andrew J. West, who plays Josiah Bradford, this descendant of this person she's investigating, 
there's this one sequence, this interview on camera, that takes this film to a whole other level and really shows what dark forces are manipulating the people in this resort. And that's why, like, I start getting a lot of very, like, Shining-type feelings about it is because you feel this influence on these characters and this place and its history and what's dwelling inside. And in the end, pay attention to everything along the way. Just le let yourself in get engrossed in this experience. And there's plenty of things that work. I'm not saying this is a perfect film. I'm not saying this is a great film. But there's a lot of horror elements, thriller elements, mystery, mystery elements that do come together with a strong cast and inspired filmmaking to be something pretty engaging and interesting and intriguing along the way. But those are my thoughts on So Cold, The River. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.